What's up everybody? It's here and I Christy here coming to you live from Laguna Beach, California. Enjoying a uh, middle of the work week type vacation with my favorite Talia. Say hi. Hi. Who <laughs> would come to the beach crocheting? That's just Talia. She's gonna crochet and that's what she's gonna do. And be creative all hours of the day and night. And I love it because she is her mother's daughter. So anyhow, I just wanted to come um, and say a good word because there have been a lot of things happening in the world right now that um, cause people to pause and reassess where they are emotionally and where they are with their maturity. I'm not going to speak about any one in particular situation or person, but understand that emotional maturity is something we all need to pay attention to and take some time to, um, to assess where you are assess how well you handle pressure, how well you handle stress and situations that are not um, ideal for you. Um, I think I'm at a point in my life where, oh, I'll still cuss somebody out. I really will. But I don't have the desire or the energy to put my hands on anybody um, because it's just not something I condone in my life. For example, we're here in Laguna Beach. Um, we were behind a couple that had a dog. They were on the right side of the street. We were on the right side of the street. We wanted to get around the couple. So we walked around the couple to get around them because they were slowly walking with their dog and we wanted to get to lunch. We had some amazing sushi. So anyhow, we walk on the left side briefly in order to get around this couple. There is a Karen coming at us. And I saw it in her eyes. She looked at me and she was just like, oh God. And I was like, she's looking at me but I'm gonna assume that she's not speaking toward me um, because I'm not doing anything wrong I'm just walking down the street in Laguna Beach she says don't people walk on the right side of the road anymore and I was like okay Karen I see that we're having a moment in the middle of a beautiful day in Laguna Beach it's one o'clock none of us are working you got shorts on with your wrinkly skin having a good day, walking down the street, and your biggest upset in life is that someone who happens to courteously bypass someone else who's walking slowly and interrupts your pace on the left side of the road that's yours, and the sun is shining, and it's 90 degrees in Southern California in the spring, and your biggest complaint is somebody's walking on the left side of the road. Now, what I say to that is, yeah, I, I can tell all the Karens in the world to calm down, but they're still going to have their moments in the sun, in the sunshine, no pun intended. But that should not affect me. That should not affect my emotional maturity. I could have stopped her. I could have cussed her out every which way in different languages if I wanted to. Believe me, I'm good at that. <laughs> but I chose not to. Why? Number one, I have my daughter here with me. I want to set a, a prime example of how to handle agitation because it's just that. It was annoying. But am I going to ruin my day because this lady can't manage her medication or her feelings or emotions and somebody black walking down the street interrupts her so badly that I need to agitate myself or bring myself low to her level? No. I headed myself to the beach and living my best life, chilling in the sun in a white bikini because I can. You know what I'm saying? Like, you have to find a way to find the good in every situation because there's always somebody trying to throw you off your game. You cannot allow that, black, white, or otherwise. This is not about a color or anything else. It is about a, a, a space in your mind, in your spirituality, in your heart, and where you are as a person. Because I could have went, oh, she's being racist, which she was. Um, but is that really gonna affect my day or my life? No, I got a full tank of gas, praise God. It cost me $135, but I had it to put in my tank. I had a, an amazing lunch with my daughter. It's spring break. Families are at the beach having a good time. Life is good. I have nothing to complain about. So I'm gonna let that woman have her moment and let that be what it is. But know that your emotional maturity hurts and helps you. So take the time to love yourself through whatever situations you may be going through that may make you feel like you're not worthy or throw you off. You can always get back on the saddle and become better than what you were before. And so I just wanted to stop and remind you to be encouraged, to 
to live in love, to be the love that you seek, to be the happiness that you seek, because it can only be better from here. It doesn't get worse. Life doesn't get worse unless that's how you set it up, unless you're a negative Nancy, unless you're always speaking death and you don't speak life into the things and situations that you want to see grow. Um, but I'm so grateful that as busy as I am, I can stop what I'm doing, spend some time with my daughter, enjoy the breeze, enjoy the waves, and live my mother freaking life out of a box, happy as can be, floating free. Not because I'm so great, not because I'm so wonderful, but because I set it up that way. My emotional maturity allows me to work very hard so I can play hard, to take mental breaks. I was at the spa yesterday, praise the Lord, it was wonderful. And you need those breaks because that also helps your emotional fortitude. So anyhow, to hear Renee Christie, I'm more pro self-love, live in love. Happiness is the reward for living a great, wonderful life. Be happy, be free, be at peace, and don't be a parent. It serves no one. God bless you.